Egypt, a place full of hidden mysteries, has more miracles than any other country on Earth. For modern people, ancient Egypt's past is a constant source of fascination. It captivates not only with the allure of secrets and enigmas waiting to be solved, but also with the peculiar qualities that are unique to it. Ancient Egyptian history is an unending supply of startling information, whether it's about rudimentary medical practices. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the ancient Egyptian technologies. What type of technologies do you think our ancient Egyptian people used during their time? What are their great inventions that we use today? To answer all these questions, we have prepared a list of ancient Egyptian technologies. So without further delay, let's jump into the video. When it comes to ancient Egypt, abnormal is the best word to use. Many aspects of Egypt's history and culture remain shrouded in mystery. For everything that Egyptologists have ultimately figured out, there are more waiting to be figured out. First on our list is engineering and construction. The scientific prowess that was used to create smaller items such as home goods was the same prowess that was used to create the enormous temples of ancient Egypt. One of the most important things that was emphasized while making any of these products or constructions was paying close attention to the details. The Egyptians are known for being a highly conservative people in many parts of their culture. This commitment to a specific manner of performing activities can be plainly seen in the building of the pyramids and other monuments that the Egyptians built. For example, it seems that the process of creating an obelisk has always entailed the same step-by-step -step technique being carried out in exactly the same manner. It is widely known how obelisks were extracted from their quarries and transported, but it is not documented how the enormous monuments were erected. This demonstrates that a uniform technique was strictly adhered to. Next, we have canals and irrigated channels. The Egyptians were the first to use canals and irrigation channels to divert water from the Nile River to far-flung farmlands. They erected gates into the canals to manage the flow of the water, as well as reservoirs to store the water in the event of a drought. The ancient Egyptians employed water wheels to power a shadouf, which was an invention of theirs. A long pole with a bucket on one end and a weight on the other made up the device. Water wheels were used to hoist buckets that had been dumped into the Nile and filled with water. The water was then dumped into the canals that were used to irrigate the crops by oxen swinging the pole. The next great invention of ancient Egypt is the calendar. The Egyptians developed their highly accurate solar calendar by keeping track of the return of the star Sirius, the dog star, in the eastern sky every year. Sirius's rise corresponded to the annual flooding of the Nile River. There were 365 days in the Egyptian calendar divided into 12 months. There were 30 days in each month, plus 5 festival days at the end of each year. The Earth's solar year, on the other hand, is 365.25 days long, which we account for today with leap year. The Egyptian calendar gradually became wrong, but Ptolemy III fixed the problem by adding one day to the 365 days every four years with his Ptolemaic calendar. You will be surprised to know that the clock is also an Egyptian discovery. The Egyptians utilized their well-known obelisks as sundials, monitoring how the obelisks' shadows traveled about them during the day. The ancient Egyptians were able to calculate the year's longest and shortest days using this information. A water clock is depicted in an inscription from the 16th century BC, unearthed in the tomb of a court official named Amenemet. This clock was created using a stone vase with a small hole in the bottom. Water dropped at a consistent rate through this hole, and the passage of hours could be calculated by markings on a vessel collecting the water. At night, priests at the Temple of Karnak utilized a water clock to determine when certain religious procedures should be performed. If you are enjoying the video so far, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Up next, we have surgical instruments. The Edwin Smith Papyrus is the earliest known surgical book dated from 1600 BC. It discusses the kind of damage, patient examination, diagnosis, prognosis, and therapy in 48 surgical cases of injuries, fractures, wounds, dislocations, and tumors. The papyrus contains a list of the tools used during the operations, suturing instructions, and details of how to utilize swabs, bandages, sticky plasters, and cauterizing. The papyrus, written in black ink with red ink explanations, has a section on gynecology and another on cosmetics, as well as five prescriptions. Scalpels, scissors, copper needles, forceps, spoons, lancets, hooks, probes, and pincers are among the surgical equipment on display in the Cairo Museum. 
Next on our list is the plow. While historians aren't fully sure where the plow came from, evidence shows that the Egyptians and Sumerians were among the first to utilize it about 4000 BCE. The plows, which were most likely made from adapted hand tools, were so light and inefficient that they were dubbed scratch plows because of their inability to dig deep into the earth. Furthermore, the plows were powered only by human effort. For example, wall murals depict four men driving a plow across the field together, which is hardly a pleasant way to spend a day in the sweltering Egyptian heat. Now let's talk about medicines and cures. We all attempt to live and eat as organically as possible nowadays. As a result, we reject traditional drugs and therapies in favor of herbal remedies. It's said to be superior. It might so, and Homer's remark that the homeland of Egypt is the richest in remedy could be true. Oil, dough, dates, onions, garlic, linseed, dill, myrrh, opium, and other minerals like lead salts, antimony, and copper were utilized by the ancient Egyptians. Animal flesh, brain, and blood were also utilized. All of these drugs were mixed with milk, wine, or beer and were boiled before use. Infections, for example, were treated with moldy bread. Cream honey combined with cumin and milk with locusts were used to cure lung problems. Last but not least, we are going to talk about one of their most mysterious discoveries of all time. Yes, you guessed it right, we are talking about the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the most intriguing edifice on the planet. The Great Pyramid of Giza is Egypt's largest pyramid in the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu of the 4th dynasty. It is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, having been constructed over a period of around 27 years in the 26th century BC. It is also the only one that has remained largely intact. It borders present-day Giza in Greater Cairo, Egypt as part of the Giza Pyramid Complex. It's hard to believe that the Cheops Monument was carved using rudimentary copper tools and was made out of 2.3 million pieces of stone, each weighing more than 2 tons on average. It's even more astounding when you consider that all of its sides are perfectly aligned with the cardinal points, with none of them exceeding the others by more than 5 millimeters. Not to add that, at 146.58 meters, the Great Pyramid was the world's tallest human structure for over 4,000 years, until the central spire of the Cathedral of the Virgin Mary of Lincoln was finished in 1310. What do you think about all these inventions? Do let us know in the comment section below! This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you liked this video and it increases your knowledge on the ancient Egyptian technologies. For more videos like this, you can visit the channel. Also, don't be afraid of giving suggestions on future videos in the comment section.